Hi, I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com and if you follow our YouTube channel, you know that we do a lot of product reviews. And I think it's really interesting to try new things and this is not necessarily a, a brand new thing. It's been around for a while, but it's new for me. I just found out about it. Now, I do a lot of electrosurgical procedures, specifically radio wave surgery with the Elman radio wave or if I'm operating in another hospital or surgery center, I'm using a a bovi, and some people use a hyfricator. In any event, when you're using these uh, electrical type uh, devices and you are either burning blood vessels or cutting tissue, what happens is you get a char build up on the tip. And this is bad for several reasons. Number one, it decreases the efficiency of the instrument. So after you get enough char build up, it's hard to cut or hard to coagulate. Number two, when you have a lot of char, which is just uh, carbonized tissue, depending on what kind of tissue you're cutting, and it just it just sticks to the edges. Same thing when you're when you're barbecuing and and you're using a spatula or a skewer or something. It the the uh, meat and the uh, carbonized products stick to it. So the other problem is it serves as a heat sink, and when you're going to cauterize or cut, that area gets hotter and it spreads lateral thermal damage. So especially in what I do, cosmetic facial surgery, controlling thermal damage is very important. So this product is called Electrolube and it comes in a little, little sterile um, bottle and it has about the consistency of honey. It's real thick and it's a, a sterilized product and you put some on a little sponge and you take your uh, forceps or your cutting instrument and you coat it with this and that protects it from uh, getting the char build up. Now, it's not to say you're not going to get any char because you always will get some, but it really reduces the amount of char. And we used it for uh, the first time today, and I was really impressed. So as a surgeon, you know, surgeons are pretty, uh, they're not the most patient people in the world. Any nurse will tell you that. And when you have to wait for something and stop surgery, uh, it's just inefficient. So when you use a lot of electrical surgery, and like I said, I use the Elman radio wave a lot, and I'm, I'm doing a lot of cutting with that, every time you have to stop, the assistant has to take the instrument, scrape the char off with a sharp instrument, or wipe the char off, or steam the char off, you know, it, it, it just, it's inefficient. And you might have to do this 10, 15 times during a case. And there are studies, actually, that uh, have shown uh, how much this can be improved using a, a product like this. So we're going to show you how it's used and we're going to use it a little bit in a facelift surgery and uh, uh, a mole removal. And so, you know, um, anytime I review a product, I don't ever want to say something's a miracle, but this stuff works. It's really cool. And if you do electrosurgery, you should try it. Okay, so again, uh, clogging and debris on your bipolar forceps is just inefficient. It slows you down and it doesn't stop the bleeder. So we're evaluating uh, Electrolube, which has been studied scientifically and shown to reduce the time it takes. And this is about the consistency of honey. So what you want to do is just get a good old drop of this. Doesn't take much. A little bit goes a long way. And uh, we want to put it on our little foam pad. Kind of soak it in. And I need our, my bipolars, please. And what we're going to do is just take this and rub it on the bipolar like that, get it saturated. So here we are in the surgical trenches and we're doing a facelift and we're going to illustrate some hemostasis. Now this is a bipolar forcep and I'm using the uh, Elman 4.0 megahertz radio wave surgery. So you can see is a superficial vein here and we're going to go ahead and buzz that. And now what we're going to do here is to find some bleeders. So you can see there's a, these are little bleeders here and we want to be careful because we're by the hair follicles so we don't want to kill them. But this is what we do for hemostasis. And a lot of this has to happen in a facelift. And I want to purposely kind of gump up, gunk up these forceps with debris. We also use this to shrink tissue. You can see how the heat shrinks this. And if you look at the, are we able to see the forceps? So you can see all this debris here. And the more debris there is, the less efficient the forcep becomes. And then pretty soon it doesn't work at all. So you have to stop, 
You have to hand this off the field. The assistant has to uh, clean it with sandpaper uh, and then put it back. Now these particular forceps uh, have a silver alloy, so they gunk up less than regular uh, stainless steel, but they still gunk up. So we're going to now apply We're going to apply some of our electrolube here. And that's going to and that's going to help it not gunk up. So you can see, I'm just going to do some hemostasis here. And you can see that these things stay clean. So it's pretty neat. OK, so we have continued. And we have been using this now for a while. And we've intentionally not cleaned it. Is that clear there? Can you see that? Are we focused? So you can see that this gunk that gets on there, and it's, you, I really can't even pull it off. So you can see how troublesome that is to have that char build up. Give me a scalpel blade, and I um, hope this is in focus. So it's kind of, let's go over here. Let's go over here and refocus. And uh, so it's really, just really charred, and it takes a long time to clean that and wipe it off. Okay. All right, so as we clean this, you can see that what we're doing is we're activating the pedal on a wet gauze, and that makes steam. As you can see, the steam coming up from that. Keep doing it. And so that's how we clean this with the uh, Elman 4.0 radio wave surgery. But we have to stop and do that, which takes time away from the case. So what we've done intentionally is used this, uh, and I'm going to shine my light on it in a second. I don't know if that helps or doesn't help. Um, we've used this on the entire side of the case without uh, steaming it or wiping it on wet gauze. All we did was to just every once in a while run it through um, the electrolube. So I can't say there's no debris on it, but it's certainly minimal compared to what we showed you before. So does this work? Yeah, I think it does. You know, I think it makes a difference. And, um, you know, it's kind of surgeons are just so impatient. And every assistant will tell you that. And kind of the bane of your existence is when you're waiting for an instrument. So you have to hand this off. Somebody has to clean it. They have to hand it back, and it just slows you down. So I think that uh, Electrolube has merit here, and I think we'll continue to use it. I'm Dr. Joe, and I am to lovethatface.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com, and I hope you enjoy our free YouTube videos. I want to talk to you a little bit about our four purchase video series, and if you follow our education platform, you know that in the past I had a very successful DVD uh, cosmetic surgery video series that you would order on DVD. To become more contemporary, we've done it all over, and now it is all online. I spent two years and recorded over 300 hours of 1080p high definition video and it's fully narrated in a step-by-step -step teaching manner. This includes but not limited to topics such as blepharoplasty, brow lift, minimally invasive facelift, traditional facelift, facial implants, otoplasty, uh, laser resurfacing, chemical peel, injectable fillers, uh, neurotoxins, mole removal, the management of fat in the head and neck, and other topics. I think this is a great review for um, experienced surgeons and a great teaching tool for students, interns, residents, or anybody that wants to learn about cosmetic surgery. If you go to CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com, you can preview any video, and they're very reasonably priced. Uh, when you order a video, you can stream it 24-7, as well as download it so you own the video. I'm really excited, and I think I put together a really awesome teaching series. Check it out, cosmeticsurgeryeducation.com. I'm Dr. Joe Niamh, too.